This week, we're heading to Disneyland to check out their Halloween celebration. And then we'll bring you two big announcements from SeaWorld and Busch Gardens. Plus the latest theme park news and more, coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village, right, right now. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Quinn. And I'm Elisa. So, what is your favorite Halloween Horror Nights house this year? Ooh, I would say I have I have a top three. If okay. I can, yeah. If that counts. Go ahead. So my top three are Ghostbusters, Graveyard Games, and Classic Monsters. Uh, see, you you have the the same two and three as me, but uh, my favorite is Us. Really? Yeah, it's, it's so good. I love that movie so much, and it just. The immersion and the the way the actors just like, you know the. Do. <laughs> yeah. See, I never saw the movie, so I didn't appreciate oh, well, the house know. as much. So maybe <laughs> that was why. Um, that wasn't one of my favorites. Probably one of on my least favorites, but maybe it was because of that. But I yeah, really yeah, you, you gotta see it to know. Yeah, but I really did enjoy uh, most of the houses, and then those I would say were my top three. And then I really loved the Academy of Villains this year. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah, it's really really good. Um, I have yet to see the Lagoon Show, but I'm going what? this that's, week, that's, so we'll see it this week. Yeah, really really good. Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd put that. At equal with Academy of Villains, like they're both the, just that. I good. heard that it's so good, so mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see to see it. It's the first year that Universal had it, so yeah, you excited. gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. Gotta go and back. I want to <laughs> eat s'more fries. I think. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, I I was looking at them and I was like, oh, are these are these gonna be as good as like pizza, pizza fries? fries? But they're they're on the equal level. They're, like ten dollars good. Yeah. Okay. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. I Am Walt Disney is the 18th picture book in the New York Times best-selling Ordinary People Change the World series, a biography is about heroes. This friendly fun series focuses on traits kids can aspire to. This volume features Walt Disney who makes dreams come true for himself and countless kids around the world. Get your copy wherever fine books are sold. You can get a free dining plan with the purchase of a six-day vacation package with a special offer from Mouse Fan Travel. To learn more about their offers and to get a free quote with no obligation, head to mousefantravel.com. Want to visit the Disneyland Resort to check out their Halloween festivities? You can save $27 on a three-day park hopper with Disney Max Pass from Undercover Tourist. For more information on this and other theme park ticket deals, visit undercovertourist.com. Disney Plus is already testing in the Netherlands ahead of its official November 12th launch here in the US, and we collaborated with Stitch Kingdom on Twitter to bring you a list of what is likely every Disney movie and TV show that will be available to stream starting on day one. The lineup includes plenty of Disney afternoon favorites from the Disney Channel, a few Saturday morning cartoons from ABC, classic live action Disney films, the entire current Star Wars saga, and more. Keep in mind that Disney can add or take away titles at any point between now and the service's official launch, so anything can change. You can check the full list out now at attractionsmagazine.com. I hope that they keep most of it there. It's I, I really need to um, catch up on Star Wars Rebels. I never watched any of that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I never actually saw like all of Kim Possible back when it was on TV, like when I was little, <laughs> and I want to I wanna go back and watch all of it. It'd be so, it's just so cool. Like the list is just just hundreds mm -hmm. and hundreds. It's so long, and just to know that you could have the potential to just binge all of it is just so wonderful. And there are some <laughs> movies on there I've never even heard of. Like I think some old live action ones oh, man. and like. I There's just so just many up. things, like, like 10 things I hate about you. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so great. I love this. If you have kids, perfect. If you don't have kids, still perfect. Like, it's good for any age, honestly. And that doesn't even include the, the new Disney Plus exclusive shows and things that are coming That's out. That's so. very true, which are exciting on its own. So, mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> a great moment in Disney Parks history is coming to an end this October. Yes, the Muppets present Great Moments in American History is ending its run in Liberty Square at Magic Kingdom on October 5th. Cast members were told this end date, though Disney has said that they have nothing to share at this time when we reached out for comment. 
Another entertainment offering leaving Magic Kingdom on the same day are the Royal Majesty Makers who can often be found in Fantasyland having fun with guests. Stay tuned to our website for any updates on these entertainment closures. It's always hard seeing <sighs> those, you know, announcements come out about the entertainment closings because those are things that I feel, you know, happen a little bit less and less. And it, it, it's it's magical to have those little moments in the parks. So. Yeah, it makes me wonder, like, one day will they get rid of, like, Kylo and Rey and Vi walking around Galaxy's Edge or, you, yeah. you know, it's just like these little things that make the magic. Like, like you, you're walking through Magic Kingdom, you, you see the Muppets. You're like, oh my God, it's actually the Muppets. There they are, but... It was a really, really cute show. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends that were involved in it, so it is really sad. And you know, Disney hasn't made any announcements yet, but I'm hoping that it's replaced with other things. But again, mm -hmm. like, there's not, who knows, you know. So, I, you know, I've heard rumor that Divine Animal Kingdom could be going away. Oh my gosh. Just really sad. Like, who knows? Who we'll see. But yeah. I want a Divine ride. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> like a roller coaster? You uh, ride it down divine. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, we got to take a ride on the Disney Skyliner this past week. Well, not us personally, but one of our reporters did. Sorry, the new transportation system is currently in limited testing before it opens to all guests on September 29th. We put the gondolas to the test, checking how hot it can get inside, what ride times are like, and more. You can read our full report now at attractionsmagazine.com. So I was over at Epcot yesterday and mm -hmm. just, I could see them testing and mm -hmm. I'm just like, wow, they're fast. Like I bet I wanna, it does feel nice with so the wind. Much. Yeah, I'm sure it gets a nice breeze. I would imagine if it had to stop for more than a few seconds, it could start getting kind of hot in there, but. Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the tests, I'm not sure exactly what they were, I didn't read the article, but um, I know that we, we established that pretty much it's it's going to be the same temperature outside or in um, if you're not moving, um, because like I think the worry for most people is that you're going to be stuck inside this small space and it's right. going to heat up inside. Right. But I think that it's since it's ventilated, mm -hmm. like it's just going to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a unique way to get around, and you know. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Kind of freaks me out. I'm willing <laughs> to try it, I suppose, but maybe I'll wait until I get some of the kinks out. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, hopefully there aren't any kinks at all. It's just well, open and it's everything's great. Great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Head to a galaxy far, far away with our commemorative summer 2019 issue of Attractions Magazine. It's finally open. We take a look inside Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and show you all around this immersive new land. Talk to a few of the Disney cast members and Imagineers behind the creation and even look at the Star Wars land that never was. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at attractorsmagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. Halloween has arrived at the Disneyland Resort. That's right, but don't worry if you didn't get a ticket to the now sold out Oogie Boogie Bash at California Adventure. There's still plenty of Halloween fun at Disneyland Park. Yes, indeed, and our reporter Melanie was there to discover all the tricks and treats. Over to you, Melanie. California Adventure Park in the Plaza de Familia, where all sorts of seasonal opportunities and entertainment are being offered. And I'm with Stephanie, a Disneyland Resort spokesperson. Now, Stephanie, do you want to tell me about how families can celebrate in the Plaza de Familia? I would absolutely love to. There's so many different ways to enjoy the Plaza de Familia. It is inspired by Dia de los Muertos, so it's a time when we can actually remember our loved ones and feel that eternal connection with them. Disneyland Resort is all about family, and this is another
another way we can celebrate them. So if you go inside the plaza, you can actually participate in an interactive memory wall. You can leave a memory of your loved one so nice. for the wall. <laughs> to live on forevermore. And then we also have our Bowl de la Vida that you can take a picture with. It's our tree of life, which is an important part of the celebration of the Dia de los Muertos. You, we also have crafts for our younger ones or our young at heart. You can make masks that look like the alabrique, which are the spirit guides from Coco. And speaking of Coco, several times a day and more times than ever before, we have our musical celebration of Coco that you can see right behind us. It tells the story of Miguel who is a young boy that goes on a very special journey and these storytellers of the Plaza de Familia come out and tell us that story in a beautiful celebration of color and light and sound and music and dance. And then afterwards, for the first time ever, you can meet our friend Miguel after the show. Hello again, we were just at Disney California Adventure checking out Plaza de la Familia and now we're back in the Disneyland Resort and we're going to learn about all the Halloween time offerings that regular guests can enjoy while they're here in Disneyland. So, do you, William, do you want to tell me about some of the things that guests can enjoy? Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here, Melanie. Hi, everyone. We are so excited to be bringing Halloween time back once again for all of our guests. And it runs now through October 31st here at the Disneyland Resort in both parks. And so we're right here in front of the iconic Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern on Main oh, yes. Street, USA. <laughs> That's one of hundreds of individually carved pumpkins that adorn the shops and stores of Main Street, USA. So it's so really beautiful. So many pumpkins. I love it. <laughs> and we also have Haunted Mansion Holiday. Mm -hmm. Have you ridden it yet this year? Not yet. Okay. I'm excited to do it today. Well, once again, Jack Skellington and all his pals from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas have taken over the Haunted Mansion for the season, and they've decorated, they've wrecked our halls, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> and did you know that each year we have a different gingerbread house that's featured in the ballroom of the Haunted Mansion? I'm a nerd, so I did know that. Good yeah. answer. Me too, me too. Well, this year is very special for us because you might know that Haunted Mansion is celebrating its 50th anniversary. So that gingerbread house that we have for Haunted Mansion holiday honors the Haunted Mansion itself, celebrating 50 years. So we're that super excited for that. It is wonderful. And what about characters? Can uh, guests meet characters dressed up in Halloween costumes? Well, you read my mind because <laughs> in just a second, we're gonna have one of our Disney pals join us. Mickey Mouse, come on in, uh, buddy. Mickey! Mickey Mouse is here and he's dressed in his <laughs> Halloween costume. Yay! This year, Mickey, are you a vampire? Very good, very cool. All right, I have a couple of questions for Mickey. Okay, Mickey, it's an age old debate. Candy corn, yes or no? That's a big <laughs> yes. yes from Mickey. It yes. sure is. <laughs> All right. Now, there's a lot of Halloween parties going on, a lot of people gathering around the resort. So do you have a signature dance move you like for Halloween parties? Oh, he sure does, don't you, Mickey? Let's see it. Ah, the zombie oh, walk. Oh, can I try too? <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much, Mickey, and thank you, William, for showing us about Halloween time. Disneyland.com is where we invite everyone to visit to learn more about Halloween time from now through October 31st. We hope you can join us. I think each and every one of us goes above and beyond. We do everything for our clients that we could possibly do. From getting up at 3 a.m. to get the best deal for them when it comes out, to staying up late at night to send them their documents. We like taking the stress off of you. We'll stress about it, you go have fun. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no obligation quote today. lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. SeaWorld Orlando and Busch Gardens Tampa Bay held simultaneous announcements this past week promising big reveals for 2020. Our reporters Neve and Alia were on the scene at both parks to capture all the action. Let's start with Alia over at SeaWorld. 
Hey guys, my name is Ali and I'm here at SeaWorld Orlando. We are learning some new details about a roller coaster coming in 2020, but this is not the only Central Florida location that's opening a new coaster. We've got Neve over in Tampa Bay, so uh, what's happening over there? Thanks, Alia. We're here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay to find out what they're going to do with the new Guazi coaster. The wait is over. Something's coming. is going to be a hybrid roller coaster. It's 206 feet tall, has a 91 degree drop, and gets up to 76 miles per hour. Right over our head, which isn't being built currently, but we'll have a lift hill that's gonna take you up to the 206 foot height. Uh, then behind us, it's gonna drop down into a huge wave. It's gonna come over and actually end up into this big overbank turn, down through a zero G roll, um, goes through bunch more elements you can kind of see a big stretch over there that goes over the station that basically turns you sideways and then back down so that's going to be a pretty neat element we've got a stall element throughout the attraction which pretty much turns you upside down and just takes you upside down for a moment there's just there's a bunch of different great elements that we're putting into this attraction um, it's it's going to be super thrilling for everyone in the family so Gwazi was kind of known for being a little bit rough. How smooth is this one going to be? So this will be a complete 180 from what Gwazi was originally. So this will not be a rough ride. It will be a fast ride, so we'll have to separate the two in that sense, uh, but it will not be rough. And what made you change the theming to like the park of the So it's a completely new attraction. I mean, we are using some of what was originally here for Gwazi, but it's, it's a completely new attraction, so we kind of felt that we would update the theming a little little bit so it wasn't just the same old same old. This high thrill family ride will combine high banking rotations with rapid descents sending riders on a swirling journey through two open tail spins. Manufactured by Whitewater, this ride will include three dynamic aqualucent elements, harnessing the power of the Florida sun to send colorful patterns into the slide as riders reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. So we've got Solar Vortex opening here at Adventure Island and Iron Gwazi opening at Bush Gardens Tampa, both in spring 2020. Let's head back to Alia to see what's going on at SeaWorld. Wow, that looks so cool. Neve Iron Guazi looks amazing. Now the press conference is about to start over here, so let's take a look. Icebreaker is SeaWorld Orlando's first launched roller coaster. And not just one launch, we're launching four times. So we're going to start out with a horizontal track switch and a backwards launch up Florida's steepest beyond vertical drop. That's a 93 foot tall spike that's tilted at 100 degrees. And the fun is just getting started as we'll continue with a forwards launch, a backwards launch, and another forwards launch rocketing you to 52 miles per hour, all along a unique launch track that has an airtime hump on either end. And the fun continues with a top hat element, a near vertical climb and twist, and a near vertical drop, followed by low to the ground airtime hills, twists, turns, and directional changes, all along 2,750 feet worth of travel distance. That all sounds really thrilling, and it sure is, but the ride is accessible for the entire family with a 48 inch tall rider height requirement. So right here we have a look at the new concept art of the new coaster and it's right near Bayside Stadium. And now they do have an amazing treat for us. We get to be a part of the coaster forever. We get to sign a piece of the actual coaster itself. So, so Icebreaker looks absolutely amazing and that's more to come soon. But 
Right now at SeaWorld, they're doing the craft beer festival that goes on weekends through October 27th. So uh, let's drink to that. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. This week's birthday shoutouts go to Omar Gomez, Michelle Darwin, Heather Leonardi, Becky Menken, Fraka Kerrigan, and our reporter Carrie Haynes. Happy birthday, everyone! There's still time to enter our giveaway for a copy of I Am Walt Disney by Brad Meltzer. Just head to attractionsmagazine.com slash the show, look for the September 5th episode, scroll down to read the rules, and enter the contest from there. You have until the end of September. Good luck! Now we want to thank MEI, Mouse Fan, and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is a nonprofit resort that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit GKTW.org. All right, so we've been talking about spooky season. Mm -hmm. It's in full gear. We've also got another spooky thing happening starting this week, and that is Hollow Scream at Bush Gardens. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out there this year, but I, I really am excited to see um, our videos and our coverage. Uh, I, I, I know they have that new house this year. I think it's called The Residence. It's like, yes. I don't even know what it is. It's just like a suburban... Yeah. House. I it's haven't <laughs> gone to Hollow Scream in a few years, and I really, really do enjoy it. So maybe I'll see if I can get out there this year because yeah, you it is such a good time, and it's not too far away down in Tampa. So. Yeah, it's just like yeah. 45 minutes yeah. to an hour. It's always such a good time, so I love it there. So definitely excited for all the spooky things to come. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. We hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun.